Hi, hello people. How are you doing? It's Saturday, so it's afternoon where I am. Um, how are you all doing? Probably evening or morning, maybe where you are. How are you all doing? Um, all right. Welcome, people. Welcome, Temi Tokwe Crown Feet. Welcome, Roxy Landy. Welcome, people. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good to see y'all. Welcome, welcome. All right, we'll just give it a few minutes for folks to jump in. Um, yeah, please do share the live as well, the live feed um, with friends, family, loved ones. Let them know that um, we're here today on kingdom bits we are having our guest today um i guess should be here so sure hi Muche logistics underscore logistics welcome welcome good to have you join us just give it a few minutes while we wait for folks to join us, enjoy listening to this jam. Jesus, you give me wonderful words. Jesus, you give me wonderful love. You give me wonderful love. Hi, Marisa Ashana. The T. I hope I got that correctly. Um, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Please do well to share the live feed. Um, we're waiting at, for our guest. I guess she'll join us shortly and we'll kick off immediately. Nicole Larray, hi glory by grace. Welcome, 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 welcome. Please do well to share the live feed as well. Oh, I got it right. Nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're just giving it a few minutes for folks to join and we'll be here. Awesome. All right. All right. So our guest is here. Um, sure. And we would be jumping in. Already, thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving 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 me. Thank you for we're almost there. Awesome. Hi, can you hear me? 
I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay, great. We can hear you now. Okay. A second. We'll just give you a second to... I'm gonna have to. Okay. Can you hear me? We can see you. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I okay. can hear you and okay. I can see you. All right. All right. You're good? I believe so. <laughs> I mean, you have to be good, right? You always have to be good. <laughs> All That's right. Good. Thank you for jumping in on this with us. Um, so yes, as you know, y'all, uh, my name is Victoria, and today we have our guest with us, Glory, um, and we're glad to have her join us today um, on this session on Kingdom Beat. So please help me welcome her. Oh, I can. Welcome. Good to have you join us. Um, some of our folks are jumping in. Please do share the live feed with friends, loved ones, family, folks that you know um, are part of the Gospel Canadian family, and let them know that, hey... Um, we're on here and we're live with an amazing guest here. We trust you some things that will be revealed um, during this session. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So um, I'll let the ball go into um, Glory's court. Please just do well to say hi. You know, just say a word or two to welcome folks that are on hi. here. Hello, Gospel Canadian family. I'm happy to be here. In fact, I'm joining your family now. <laughs> thank you for logging yeah. in thank you for joining we're gonna have a good time together sure definitely definitely all right guys <laughs> welcome i see your account i see zero to ten my people are here call the others get everybody jumping on here as well all right so our first question to you glory would be or is who is glory to have friends to have of course we know you you know, you're a music minister, but I want to get to know you as Glory. Um, to your friends, to your family, to your loved ones, who is Glory? Well, Glory is many things to different people. Awesome. But um, most importantly, Glory is first of all a, a child of God. Glory is first of all a Christian, a lover of God, a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ. Glory is also a mom, of course, a wife as well. Um, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, um, I'm an aunt, I'm a friend. I'm a nurse by profession. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, those are some of the things I am. I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So I think an interesting question will be, how are you able to balance all of this? You're a nurse, you're a mom, you're a sister, you're a, like, how are you able to, you know, wear all these hats amongst the fact that, or including the fact that you're also a music minister, right? How are you able to find time for these different parts of your life that you have to show up as? Well, that's a, that's a very good question. And I think most of it comes with learning. Initially, you're like, how do I do this? What do I do first? But then over time, by the help of God, I've learned to prioritize okay. and um, give everyone their, their time. Everybody deserves, you know, your time. But um, it now boils down to priority. So, um, of course, God comes first and then um, your marriage, your family. And um, just take time to make sure that you kind of check up on everybody else, even if it's just a text message or a phone call, or just a chat, or something. But um, in all of this, I believe that, and the priority sort of, um, I mean, after God and family, priority kind of changes every day, because some days, some people need you more than others. You know how you know people are going through stuff, or people just have other things that kind of need your yeah. attention that wasn't there yesterday. So the bottom line is just learning to prioritize, and you kind of learn on the job. You know, just kind of learn as it goes. And... Um, I try to find time to, to rest to take care of myself as well. That's 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 quite important as well. Taking time yes. to rest and ensuring that you're not as well burnt out in the process of, you know, reaching out to everyone. So a question mm -hmm. just jumped. I'm, I'm surprised to see a question while we just begun. 
Someone asks, what are your hobbies? Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, thanks for that question. Like, um, yeah. there are quite a, there are many things I like to do, but um, surprisingly, I like, I like to cook. Not trying to sound like anything. I just like to try new stuff. I like food. So because I like food, I like to make good food. So cooking is one of the things I like doing. I okay. love shopping like every normal woman. I love shopping. <laughs> I, I <don't> mean, every normal. <laughs> if you if you don't love shopping as a woman, something there's something wrong. <laughs> Whether it's window shopping or actually buying, but yeah, just looking at things, appreciating nice stuff around. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then I love watching movies. Sometimes you just want to like sit back, Netflix, popcorn, just in your house. Really, you don't have to go to the movie. Yeah, I love traveling as well. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The person to your, that asked the question is laughing here. She has <laughs> got to your answer, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, so if you were to describe yourself in one word, one word, what would that word be? Hmm. One word is... Let me use two. <laughs> <laughs> Just one word. Uh, hmm. Ah. Oh. One word. Just one. Hey, it's hard. Though. One word. One word. Just one word. I want to say perfectionist, but in a good way. Like okay. I strive. Okay, striving. Oh, one word will not do it. Sorry, one <laughs> word can't describe me. <laughs> one word can't describe me. <laughs> you like. Oh, there is, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, because, yeah, there's, yeah, one word would do. But I know that um, sometimes I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Okay. Not in a bad way, because I feel like things should be done well, right? Even if it's something you're doing for yourself or somebody else, sometimes it puts me, makes me put pressure on myself, which is actually not too good. But um, I'm always striving. I want to do better than the last time i want to make sure this person is happy i want to make sure you know so yeah i don't know i don't know what word that would be but um yeah maybe perfectionist it doesn't sound good but that's just it <laughs> okay. okay okay awesome that's great all right so let's get into um your craft or the man and the craft this is the section we call more like the man and the crafts which is you know, having to do with your journey, basically, with um, music. How did you start? You know, what was your starting point? I think that would be the first question. What was your starting point? How did you jump into, you know, music? And so far, between when you started um, and till now, how has that journey been? So I think we'll start with the first question, which is, how did you start? How did you know music is your thing? I mean, looking at your um, biography, and seeing what you've like all that you've accomplished as a person and meanwhile guys the person that is speaking with us is not <laughs> i wanted to say something is she i'll give you guys a background so you understand why i'm asking this question or you know from the reference i'm giving is the fact that she has gone to just hold on people i'm going to pull this up i'm not going to act like i have it in my head um yeah yeah, she she got into most beautiful girl in Nigeria pageant organized by Silverbet Television and she emerged the winner in two thousand and nine. So you're you're seeing where you're understanding where I'm, I'm where my question is coming from, right? Um and also was part of the Miss World pageant as well. So coming from that, like how did this journey start? Okay. All right. So um, music has always kind of been part of my family. My okay. parents um, <clears throat> were in the choir in their day. Um, so we had a lot of music at home. Mm -hmm. My father and my parents usually frequently played, you know, tapes. Back then it was, you know, the uh, cassettes, right? So we always had music around and I just kind of grew up listening to a lot of um, music. And um, when I was 10, I joined the choir. It was an adult choir. Back then, Ooh. I was um, Presbyterian. That's kind of like my family church. 
Okay. So, um, yeah, so I joined the choir, I was the youngest in the choir, and I just, you know, it was just kind of, that was sort of like the foundation. I started reading sulfur notes and things like that, and I, um, I think that just made me uh, grow in my love for music, and uh, especially gospel music, Christian music, as we used to call it back then. Um, so that sort of progressed, I grew up with that, went to... Um, uni joined the choir so it just kind of grew up grew with me um yeah. i wasn't always uh this passionate but as my walk with god progressed i kind of understood that this was more beyond just something i like it was a passion it was a calling and i found i had i usually i get peace I, i'm in my happy place in the place of worship i'm in my happy place in the place of praise in the place of singing making melody to the lord so it just sort of grew as I grew in the Lord, my love for um, gospel music and uh, worship also uh, grew along with me. So that was how it just, you know, it just became part of me. And before I knew it, I started, uh, you know, melodies came in my heart. I put words to music and to the melody and, you know, songs began to come out. Um, so for the Most Beautiful Girl pageant, that was very interesting. It was a, a, an interesting uh Thing that happened in my life in my life and a lot of people are like how can you be a christian and still do that and you know that i think god just used me to show that you can be a christian and not mess up yourself you can be a christian and still do you know um participate in such pageants without coming out having any um what do you call it scandals or anybody coming to say oh i've slept with this person or i've slept with that person yeah. and it was just um there's a price to pay for it though because you may not be as popular as the others who are who have stories to their mm -hmm. names but then at least your your uh, what you believe in is intact your integrity is there and you know it's just a, you have that pageant it doesn't have you so you're still in control of who you are and it's just kind of like um, a beacon to other young girls to let them know that you don't have to compromise to be beautiful you don't have to compromise to be whatever you want to be yeah that you can achieve what you want to be still being you know doing it the right way being on the right path yeah that's amazing i think um one of the things that you said that you know which is um quite profound is the fact that um you can get into the world system i mean we're in the world right that's the essence or that's that's the point right you're 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 in the world system and you still shine your light you know um that scripture that says that um let your life so shine before men that they might see um your good works and glorify yeah. your father which is in heaven so that yeah. that case of you know the whole pageantry thing you just spoke about right now just gives a clear example as to understanding that as believers wherever we go in whatever place we are in we ought to shine and in mm -hmm. doing that you know your intent people then believe that wait hold on mm -hmm. this can actually be done Yes, you, know, you can achieve it without messing up yourself. Like, oh, actually, this thing can be done. Oh, I never saw it that way. And then you become, people get to have, you know, understand that they don't have to compromise. They don't have to, you know, mm. do the things that usually people will do to attain certain levels exactly. or um, certain heights. So that's that's exactly. really profound. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that So um, with us on here. Just remembering that we're called to be light and not compromise or lose our integrity in the process in whatever field i mean yeah. for you for yeah. pageantry i mean when yeah. i saw it i'm like whoa this is big you know so from um the two different pageants you went for i'm like that's that's quite huge even up to miss world that's that's not a small platform yo no, it's, not. <laughs> it's not a small platform it's not everyone um, it's it's a it's like i mean it's a global platform yeah. and even in that you were still able to keep your, you know, of course, your integrity was still intact. You were still, you know, standing on your ground. Mm -hmm. That yeah. I'm doing this as a son of God and not um, wavering in my decision or trying to, you know, yeah. cower at the end of the day mm -hmm. or you know, bend at the end of the day, which is beautiful. And uh, we 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 celebrate you for that, putting that mm -hmm. out there, you know, for mm -hmm. us. And I'm sure it's lessons that folks on here to uh, those who would probably watch the live after would would be reminded. Um, of our place as sons of God that we're supposed to pace or be the trendsetters 
um, in every um, phase of life that, you know, we find ourselves in. So I think the other part of the question is from your journey to from when you began singing till now, now what has that journey been like? Um, when I began singing? Yes, like from your chat, journey, oh. yes. When, mm. when you started singing, when you decided to go into music as a minister, right? Mm. And till now, how has that journey been for you? Okay. Um, it's been... It's been interesting. There've been a lot of learnings along the way mm -hmm. because, you know, being called to be a music minister is, um, it's a calling, right? Though some people may approach it as a, um, maybe as a hobby or something they feel they like to do, mm -hmm. it's actually a calling. And with every calling comes a level of consecration. So I've learned along the way that for you to be effective, you must have that consecration if you are called to be a music minister. And that consecration could mean different things for different people. I was about to ask by consecration, what do you mean? That was the next question I was going to ask you. By consecration, yeah. you say consec cause consecration, it's a lot, you know, but it's when a you big word. Word, yeah. you mean, yeah, it's a big word that could mean a number of things. So yeah. what would you say is that? So consecration really just means like a setting apart okay. of something unto the Lord. Now, why I said it means different things for different people. There may be some believers, for instance, or music ministers, whoever, who may um, be able to, for example, put on a certain apparel to minister, and it's fine with them. For some others, their consecration is that I will not appear so, so, and so in, you know, in this manner. To minister you know it's not, not that they can but it's just kind of like their own thing with god what the holy spirit or they have agreed with the lord that okay this is um this mm -hmm. is how it's going to be for me and you in this walk and that's why i said it means different things to different people so it's just um for some people it's okay to go to certain places and um hang out or whatever for some others it's not okay for them now that's why the bible says um to him that knows what to do and doeth it not to him it is sin. So depending on what your what you've agreed with the Lord, what the Holy Spirit has you know laid in your heart to do or to stop doing, because of your ministry's sake, you know that's your own consecration. Of course, we all we all have a general um, consecration as believers. Of course, to stay away from um, sin and all those things. But then there are specific things, deeper things that are personal to us and our walk with God, mm -hmm. which um, we must abide by if we are going to be in effectively used by the Lord in the calling that he has called us. So along the way, I learned about that, that uh, the personal consecration things and that it's not just, um, you know, they're, they're, it's, it sets a limit on you. It sets boundaries on you. You can't, uh, the certain music, of course, the certain musics you should not listen to. There are certain things that, because we know that there's a spirit behind every music. So if you know that that is your calling, you need to, um, uh, you need to guard your ear gates as as it pertains to music because, yeah. you know, that's kind of like your own area. Um, there are things that um, you don't joke with. These are things I've learned along the line. You can't joke with your secret place as a music minister, one who has been called to minister to the Lord in song because that is the place where the fire comes from. It doesn't come from uh, the public. It comes from what you get the deposits of God you get in your own private worship. That's what you bring out and then you, you know, share with the, the world. So you must have a consistent um, prayer life, a consistent fellowship or devotion. You're one-on-one -on -one with the Lord. You can't afford to, you can't play with it. Um, those are, that's very important. If you're going to be effective in your calling as a music minister, your personal prayer altar, worship, you must be able to worship on your own inside in your closet before you're able to lead people. You know, like they say, you can't give what you don't uh, have, right? So yeah. you must have that connection with um, the Father, that thing with the Holy Spirit. It must be real to you. It must be real to you. Like it must be real. Not You have to know him not on a second-hand basis, not based on all the experiences of others. You have to have an experience. You have to have an encounter. And it's not like a one-time thing. On a daily basis, experiencing the realness of, of the Lord, the realness of the Spirit of God and the reality of his presence and his leading us. Because the Bible says, 
they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So the leading of the Holy Spirit has to become real to you. Like, as real as, oh, what should I wear? Oh, what do you think I should cook today? Or oh, what should I go here? That's how real it has to become. You know, it shouldn't be superficial and up there. It should come down to so, you know, real to the minutest details of our lives. Um, and one more thing I will say is that um, we have to be uh, careful of the company we keep. Not everyone will believe in your calling. Not everyone will believe in your in your vision or the prophetic destiny that you are carrying. So it's important that we, and you can't ask a blind person to read your vision. So it's important that we always hook up with those who um, celebrate the grace of God on our lives. Very important. Always connect with those who believe in what God has deposited in you. They are, those are the ones that will cheer you up. And also connect with them. Have someone you are accountable to like a, a, you know, a mentor, whoever, you choose whoever it is that you want to, you want to have, give that position to, but, you know, always have those things around you. Those are just some of the things I've learned along the way. Awesome. 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 That's true. Um, company, as you said, is, is key, you know, surrounding yourself with people with the, um, not just right mindset, right? I, I was going to say, or oh, I'm saying right, right mindset, but also people who are fellow sons of God, especially for us as believers. I mean, that's key. That's, yeah. that's, that's, totally. there's no, there's no, um, there's no doubt about that. That's, that's key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking for another word to say that, but that's pretty important. And you've really touched on that and, and given light to that. So yes, that's very important. And that's beautiful to know. I mean, for your songs, um, that you've released, um, is there a message that you that that you're trying to pass across, right? Mm -hmm. That's the first part. Like, is there a particular message you're trying to pass across? And if yes, um, are this message that you're passing across is it the same for every song mm -hmm. that you released? Okay, so um, I've actually only released. I want to say one and a half, not one and a half, okay, one, and then half in the sense that the other one is coming out on the 26th. It's so, not half, that's a full song. It's a full it's song, a, okay. You're so going to tell us about as well. So that's not half. <laughs> I mean, so, we're three days away from the release of that song, so it's definitely two. So in other yeah. words, I'm, I'm speaking in, you know, um, with four sides, yes, yeah. you know, saying um, the songs you release, is there a particular message for or you're about yeah. to release. I, I mean, you. you know the yeah. song you're about okay. to release. So, yeah. so yeah, so there's um there's two songs like we've said that are out, so to speak, and yeah. there are other songs which are written which are not yet out. I'm just trying to you know one at a time, but every song is received in a specific uh, period in time. Okay under different circumstances, under different experiences, under different um, situations, under different thoughts, under different, you know, thinking. And so they each carry their own message. The first one, which was Broken Vessels, it was very personal to me because, um, you know, people see you and they, they're like, oh, she's oh, up there doing this, doing that. But they forget that there is a story. You were not born a saint, right? You were not born, you were not born born again. You know, we, you were not born with the knowledge of God that you have. So there are things in my life that I have been through. I could have died. You know, I know where God brought me from. Yeah. Trust me, I know it. You would not believe it if I tell you the story. So I, I look back and there was the day I got that song, I was just thinking and I was like, if, if, I mean, if there's no one God cannot save, there's no one so broken that, you know, God cannot restore or rescue. Mm -hmm. So the message of that song basically is a message of hope, of reassurance, of comfort, that no matter how battered you feel you've been, no matter the experiences you've gone through, whether they were your doing, your mistake, your wrong decisions, your wrong choices, or maybe they were meted on you by someone else or by no doing of yours. God's love is more than able to not just take you, but rescue you, 
clean you up, change you, and make that experience of yours the avenue for God to show forth his glory. How? Because when people see how broken you were, all the things you went through and how he has turned your life around, of course, it not only gives hope to people, but then people right. also give thanks to God. People give praise to God. So it's a message so for broken vessels. It's a message of hope, of comfort. It's, um, I just want to let people know, especially our young women, our young girls, you know, wherever, don't give up on yourself. Don't look down on your experiences. As a matter of fact, I told someone that count yourself um, privileged to have experienced those things. God saw you and knew that this girl, this woman, this man can go through these things and not break. And he's going to, I'm going to use him in, in the future to show my restorative power, the, how um, my ability to change a life, a situation. Yeah. So there is purpose in that experience. There's purpose in that pain. We just need to let God have his way. We just need to um, acknowledge it and release it to God. Honestly, you need to know this. When I see young girls say, I did, I've done this. And I'm like, you don't know my story, you know? So I'm just amazed at the way God can change a life, yeah. honestly. So that's the message of broken vessels that, you know, the song said through your brokenness, you will see because the fragrance of his glory, glory, because yeah, because it's in the cracks of our lives that God is able to show forth. He does. He's not looking for perfect people all put together. Yeah. He's looking for those who will need him. That's why he gave Jacob that, um, that limp, you know, when he wrestled with the angel, mm -hmm. he gave Jacob that limp. He removed his um, hip, uh, joint from the socket so god is looking for those who will depend on those who will know that it could have only been god it's not because i'm so morally upright or so perfect so basically your brokenness no match for the love of god you are still in your in fact the plans god has for you you're even the you're the kind god is looking for so don't feel any less of a person because you had a terrible experience. You've been through what abortion, addiction, rape, you slept around or whatever. And then, you know, the enemy is bringing condemnation your way. The love of God is more than able. He's looking for you, waiting for you to just come in. But one thing you must know is that he will not force himself on you. Revelations 3.20 says, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, and opens the door, I will come in. So we have to op we have to hear that he's calling and open the door. He won't go against our will. We need to be willing to receive his love before it can come in and make changes in our lives. And then the second one coming out is All in All. It is a beautiful song. I love it. It talks about how, you know, through everything, through thick and thin, through life, Jesus has remained constant. That's That was the song for me, you know. Um, there's a line that says, you have been so dear, so close in every way. Jesus, you have been so dear, so close in every way. So I was just thinking of, you know, ups and downs. And I'm like, at the end of the day, Shai, it's only, it's only Jesus. I have. It's only, <laughs> he's the only one that's been constant. So that's mm -hmm. just the song. And I hope that, you know, people can relate because when you look at life and everything, people fail even when they don't mean to. But Christ is the only one that is constant. He's the only one that is dear, that is there, and that you can really just open up to. You can rely on and you're sure that, you know, this person wants my good. So um, that's really the message of the second one. The other ones, I won't say yet. <laughs> sure. We need to keep it in the oven while it's baking yeah. for us to listen to. But that's, I mean, the messages you've just shared with us about these two songs um, is quite profound, you know. There's purpose in pain. I can't say it better than she has said it. Um, there's purpose in pain. And God does amazing things with people. Like, it's mind-blowing. I have seen praise reports of people. I've heard, like, you know how you've seen somebody in their past and then you see them in Christ and you're like, oh, yeah. oh, God. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, and some of us are part of this I myself, and as um, Glory mentioned, I also pass part of this praise report, see what God can do and turn around situations, you know, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's all left for us to receive, you know, the life of Christ. And as scripture says, you have nothing else to do. You know, all you have to do is just believe. That's it. Once you believe in your heart, that's mm -hmm. it. 
you know, that seal, the spirit of God is in you and, and that's it. Um, there's no gymnastics. There's nothing, nothing. There's nothing. It's as simple as just you believing in what Jesus Christ has done for you and taking in all that he has done and what that has brought you, you know, as a son of God into, um, which is quite profound. And Jesus is constant. I mean, you said it all and, and that's beautiful. So guys, um, all in all, it comes out on the 26th. That's basically three days away. I think that should be a Tuesday um, if my math is working perfectly. Um, during this time on the 26th, please, guys, um, look out for it. Listen, you've had, you, you now know what the song is about. That's why you should also be a part of it. The current song that she has released right now is Broken Vessel. It's out on digital platforms. Please ensure you you know, you download, you share, you like, you comment, leave comments as well, you know, encourage. I mean, it's the kingdom of God. We need to understand that there's no competition in this thing. It's just we as a body of Christ, you know, pushing the message in different ways, in different areas. So if the song has been a blessing to you, of course, please do well to reach out to um, Gloria and just let her know, you know, and if there are other suggestions, I'm sure she would be welcome in enough to listen to and what that you have to say, you know. So please do well. I mean, follow her. If you click down on the arrow at the top left corner of your screen, you just follow her. There's no, there's no too much. It's glory underscore, I believe, to underscore grace. Um, yeah. Bye, I mean, sorry? Bye, not to. Bye, not to. Okay, bye, Grace. Yes, so please do. People in the chat, highly underscore favor said congratulations, sis. You. Um, on your on your new song coming out so yes definitely please guys follow like share comment i mean you know how you listen to a song and you keep till people in your house self will know that yes this song <laughs> we have to go and find this song you know because in 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 the song in i believe that in music right it's not just in the in the beats it's also in the lyrics especially yeah. as believers it's very important the lyrics of the songs that we listen to, especially in the light of Christ that we are in. So once the song sticks with you, you can it's 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 something that we keep ourselves reminded of, you know, what he has done and what he has brought us into. So I mean that's that's beautiful to know. So thank you very much, um, Glory, for sharing that with us. We really appreciate um you sharing these songs and we definitely will be looking out for the details for the twenty sixth and would we'll also share that as well on our page so that others can also, you know, know where to find it um and be reminded that we mentioned that as well. All right. So um You've already told us that there's some works, you know, there's some music also coming out, but it's still in the oven. Probably it has finished, but you're just giving us time to, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, get ready and, you know, take mm -hmm. in the other two that are out now and just, you know, um, you know, just drown ourselves basically in it and let the song minister to us. Um, so we are also looking forward to the songs you'll be bringing out in the near future. Um, and we'll be looking out for that. Um, and okay, so lastly, usually, um, before we leave, we always like to ask questions, you know. You can't just come and just go, you know. <laughs> we need to put you on your feet. We need to test oh you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's, I mean, Kingdom Beats, I don't understand. Oh, why? Why wouldn't you be expected? <laughs> All right, so here on this segment, the last part, or towards the end of the, um, session we usually would give you words and then you sing songs that have those words in them okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah so you have to think on your feet really quick so we'll give you okay. words sometimes you sing the song but because the, song, the words are not like very out there you're like i don't know but i mean okay, people in the right. comment section already know what time it is so guys Jumping. Yeah. Oh my god, people are already putting I've not even said anything yet. They're already putting in words for you. Okay. Yeah. So we'll give you words and then you know okay. you'll begin to um sing songs that have those words in them. Oh my god. Ah, my people are here. I oh, I <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first word is faithful. You're too faithful to fail. Oh, I got that one, right? <laughs> 
You're just <laughs> you. to disappoint me. Oh. Proving yourself in my life. And I come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Definitely. He's too <laughs> faithful to fail us. Yes. The next word is grace. But for your grace, I would not be saved. <laughs> but for your grace, I would go my way. I'm forever grateful that you have been faithful to me, Lord, for your amazing grace. Hey, that's amazing. Oh, my God, you're smashing it. Okay, there are more words coming in. Peace. Right. He peace. is our peace who has broken down every wall. He is our peace. He is our peace. He is our peace who has broken down every wall. He is our peace. He is our peace. Okay. Okay. You're smashing it, girl. <laughs> like, actually, somebody, the, the folks in the chat are like, I actually smashing it. You came prepared. You know what I mean? You're so beautiful. I know, oh, right? Thank you. So thank beautiful. you. I, I mean, I wish you one most beautiful girl. <laughs> this thank beautiful, you. I know, right? Um, another word is adore. Father, I adore you. I lay my whole life before you. How I love you. Okay, <laughs> somebody is shouting me too. She came because I didn't think of I when I saw the word, I didn't think of anything at all. I'm like, what is that? Like, we saw, and someone's like, ah, she came prepared. I'm telling you guys, she did. You didn't tell prepared. me there was this segment, Victoria. I might, I, of oh, course, I would tell you, but I'm surprised that you came like you were ready for us. Okay, I think there's one more. Um, Jire. Ja I was listening to that one this morning. <laughs> so in every circumstance, I will be content. So I was just listening to it this morning. God, thank you that I listened to that one. Oh wow. <laughs> People like you did your research. Like, no, she did, she had to have done her research well to do that. So but I mean she didn't know the words. I mean I have no on. idea. She that wouldn't have known the words because you guys didn't I mean <laughs> come on, give it to her. She, <laughs> Give it to her, you guys. Eh? Give there. it to her. That's beautiful. Okay. Let me see if there's okay. another word. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Someone says good father. You're a good, good father. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Somebody said, Holy Spirit Expo. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, I see, I'm not even, I can't, I, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if that's actually what's happening right now. <laughs> okay, there's another word, Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Oh my God, <laughs> someone says real expo, it is well, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Glory. I mean, this thank was you. interesting. It's always fun, you know, having um this session and you like you smashed it like real <laughs> good. Like I mean, you're just go, you're not even thinking as it's coming, you're giving it to us, you know. You have to wait on your ministry. If I wanted to watch the palette, oh my god, oh, oh, oh my god. You got it, you got it, girl. She says, 
Washi Parlet, obviously. <laughs> okay, so there's one word, and I'd like us to take, I think this will be the last word. Um, beautiful. Okay. You are beautiful beyond description. Too marvelous for words. Too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing you ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depth of your love? You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty enthroned on high. Yes, the thing. <laughs> I was like, "Buddy, come on, so <laughs> awesome!" But I believe that everybody would agree with me right now that you have to do a song for us. We are not rushing, no pressure. So any song, just minister, you know, um, to us together with us to Abba to the audience of one, right, folks? I'm, I believe people are agreeing with me on this chat, um, on this, on this, on this live video right now. Guys, let me know. What do you think? I think, okay, someone's like, come on now. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> People are happy. Yes. Yeah. So, um, just a few minutes and just, what's the song? Worship with you together um, to the audience of one. That's it. So, mm -hmm. one, you. Uh, okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, no matter what you're going through. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord, because he is good. And his mercies shall endure because he is good and his mercies shall endure. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord for he is good. And his mercy endures forever, folks. Mm -hmm. It's been such an amazing time. I'm sure folks in the chat are not ready to leave. But we got to go. We got to go. We got to go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> got to go. We'll see you next week, Saturday, folks. Um, we'll be on here as well. And we're so grateful that you guys always, always come through um, to be part of this. And, you know, always here to support everyone. <laughs> Someone says we're going already. <laughs> Yo, you're late, my dear. <laughs> oh, please stay. Are you guys kidding me right now? <laughs> like, what are we staying to do? Do you have questions? Okay, so are there any questions? I mean, we have a couple of few minutes left. Am I there questions or is there anything else? I'll give it for like about 30 seconds to a minute to see why y'all want us to stay. What else? What else is there? Um, are there any questions you would like for us to address um, in the process um, of this um, live video that we've... Oh, one more song. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, one more song. That's it. They said one more song. All right. Um, I like this one. I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life and i'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life i'll be here lifting hands even when it is isn't easy, but I'll be here lifting hands to Jesus, even when it isn't easy. That's right. Yeah. Right. 
I'll be here lifting hands to Jesus, even if it's not giving me. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, okay. There's a question. How long has she been singing for? Well, I started singing as a child, but you know now, I was just, I was singing, singing. But I actually um, began to be conscious of skill because there's a place for skill and there's a place for the oil. You can't say, oh, Zoli, my heart is what matters, so I, therefore I'll sound like I'll be croaking and be <laughs> distracting people from worship. No, there's a place for skill. You must train yourself. Are you all so, hearing? There's a place for skill. I need to yeah. help you there. <laughs> There's a place. The Bible says in spirit and in truth. I feel the spirit is the spirit. The truth part is the actual what we are hearing. The skill, the effort you put in to improve this, the, the gift that God has given you. So I became conscious of that aspect. Um, I think in my uni days, 2008, 7, 8, that was when I actually began to be aware of, you know, I need to, because your know, skill is like a raw material. I'm sorry, gift is like a raw material. God gives it to you. You have a nice voice. But then, you have to now brush it off, invest in it, put it to work. So um, I started singing in that regard from my uni days. Prior to then, it was just like, oh, I like to sing, I like music. So from maybe 20, 2008, I would say, I started trying to improve, listening to songs, trying to work on it. Yeah. And, and the, thing is, <laughs> the thing is, when I'm singing casually to myself, I just sing like how I just sang now. But when it's time to minister to people, I'm in my zone, like it's different. So rehearsal for me is always different from the main thing. Like the main thing, the, it's like um, like rehearsal, it's more like you're rehearsing, you're still trying to tweak and you're a bit conscious. But when it's time to actually minister, it's, a, it's totally different. Like it's a, it's a beautiful experience for me because at that point you just let go and the Holy Ghost does his stuff, you know. I always enjoy it. Okay. Okay. So there's um there's a comment here that says let's worship together. So I I'm not sure if they're asking you to let go now because I feel like that's what they're about to tell you to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so well, you guys, want to, another want worship to also, session. They want to also you know feel this thing that you know they're giving people a feeling. <laughs> you know. Um. Yeah. But yeah, that's 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 interesting to know that there's a place for skill. So we don't we don't negate that you know excellence mm. is um, in in this in all that we do. So whether singing in whatever place of work is, build your skill, um, hone it, hone the skill that you need to um have and be good at what you do. I mean, excellence is key for us. So that's beautiful. So this is my own request, you know. So my own request is before we end this live, please, you minister. I'm using the word minister, not rehearse with us, because I feel like that's what's happening in the charts right now. We'll just minister to house one last song and we'll call it a day from here. Ah, oh, okay. It's all about Thanksgiving this morning. Okay. Um, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. So give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. And let the poor say, I because of what the Lord has done for you and I. And now let the weak say I am strong and let the poor say 
say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. So the truth about you is what God has said about you. He has said you are perfect. You are the redeemed of the Lord. You are accepted in the beloved. It doesn't matter who has rejected you. The truth about you is what God has said about you. And that is possible because of Jesus. So, beloved, give thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when we're singing and when you, you got to the part where you say, um, um, give thanks for what he has done for us, right? And it came to mind that everything that Christ, God has done for us is in Christ. That's, That's right. Fullness, right? That's, That's right. That's everything. So everything that, wow, everything, That's everything right. is him. He has given Christ. Yep. Christ is in Christ. Like yeah. every single thing, you yeah. know, is in Christ. And, and that's to the the reminder, guys, yeah. is that all that we need, we have. All that we need, we have. And right there, Christ, nothing else. You can't get anything outside of him. So understanding that we are giving thanks for all that Christ has done for us and what that has brought us into as sons of God. And as she said, the truth about you is what God says, has right. said, and is saying about right. you in Christ. Yeah. He doesn't see you outside of Christ. He sees you in Christ. Yeah. And we have all that we need That's in right. Christ. And, and this is such a beautiful way um, to end this session and just be reminded that all that we need guys even up to physical things True. we have call them forth you know all of it in christ yeah um, so it's such mm -hmm. a beautiful time we've shared with you um mm -hmm. Gloria, i just wanted Christ. to um, sure. there was some, something that just um, dropped in my spirit sure. and um just for the benefit of those who might watch afterwards if for those of you who are yet to accept the lord um I just wanted to let you know that um, it's a dreadful thing to step into eternity without Christ, you know. And I would just like to encourage you to uh, open up your heart to him. You may be in the valley of decision. You might, uh, for whatever reasons, friends or just pressure or you're not sure, mm -hmm. I'll just encourage you to open up your heart to, to Christ. Like I said earlier, he's at the door knocking. And this today is, is one more chance, is another opportunity, another call he's making to you. I'm, I'm voicing his call to you. He wants to have that relationship with you. He wants you in his heart. So if you are listening to this, maybe now or even after, and you've not made Jesus your Lord and your personal Savior, you've not accepted his love into your heart, I admonish you in the complete love of God, as I would do anyone that I, that I know, to open up your heart to Jesus, accept him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No matter what people say, it doesn't change the fact that after here, there is a life which we, uh, in which we will give an account. It doesn't change the fact, whether people believe it or not, it doesn't change the fact that no one is going to be here forever. Secure your eternal destiny today by handing your life over to Jesus. Sorry for cutting you short. I just had no, to read it. No, 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 totally fine. Totally fine, definitely. Amen. So guys, don't forget to give thanks in everything. Give thanks. All right, guys. It has been an amazing time with y'all. Oh, let me see my people who are still here. Oh, Miss Logistics, Akan, Nenai Boom. I hope I, I pronounced it correctly. Cream Chick. <laughs> um, Maria Crack. Sivaya, please forgive me. Thank you for jumping in with us. Same surprises. You guys are awesome. A couple of people have joined us early and probably and um have left but we really really say thank you thank you so much guys it's been an amazing time glory thank you so much we'll be looking thank forward you. to your song coming out on tuesday guys the 26th of april look out for it and please love on that song listen to it and also share like comment um and yes it will be out on all digital platforms we'll also push out that information once we have it as well on our platform to support um our very own um glory as well so all right guys have an amazing weekend and an amazing week make sure you make a good week and we'll see you next week bye Thank everyone you, bye, bye.